everybody's got stuff, not everybody, but a large percentage of the companies have stuff planned through 2024 and they're going to hit Q3 next year. And then exactly like you said, they're going to go, oh shit, we don't have anything for 2025 or 2026. And it's going to become chaos again. You and I have been doing this for 20 some years. The industry has been around for 40. Why can't people plan ahead? I mean, to this day, they can't plan ahead. It's well, like I think there's a couple things that are going on, right? It, it's planning. Um, some of it is classic. I call it corporate uh, sphincter tightening, um, <laughs> co corporate panic, <clears throat> corporate missteps. And then also, let's be clear, some of it's just pure corporate overspending, right? You know, a lot of these companies, publishers, investors overspent on stuff in 2021 in particular in the rush to get a bunch more content because of the success, you know, the, the, the pandemic and all. But when people overspend, eventually you pay for it. I think, mm -hmm. you know, people made a lot of bad investments. People overpaid for those investments. Um, and I'm not necessarily blaming indies. I think indies are the unfortunate side effect of people investing too much in big projects that weren't going to succeed. Um, and I don't know how much we want to get into, you know, multiples and in, in valuations of studios. You know, we saw more studios get bought in, I think, 2020, 2021 than maybe the previous five, 10 years combined. Uh, and I think that those studios that got bought, a lot of them time, they got bought for way too much money, way more than they should have because the valuations were ridiculous. Uh, you know, they were getting 30, 40 X on future revenues. And I mean, just some numbers when I, I remember talking to a studio and trying to actually pitch them for a publishing deal and they were getting a, a deal for equity that was, I mean, I literally just told them to take it. Like sometimes, you know, dumb money is dumb money. And if somebody's going to give you dumb money for something, you take it. But at some point somebody pays the price for, you know, spending too much dumb money. And I think that's part of it as well as I think not just investors overspent, but publishers overspent, um, both on marketing and signing new games and maybe, you know, taking chances where they shouldn't have. And so the belt tightening is going on. And unfortunately, you know, it's always a pendulum, right? There's never, it never seems to sit in the middle. It's not even a little bit in the middle. It always seems to swing to extremes. And I think we, we've hit that extreme. I think also a lot of people are just aren't sure where the markets are going. Um, and I do think the panic's a little unjustified. It's not like the market's down 20, 30%. What we were down 3% last year. Yeah. Uh, four percent, and some of that, if you take into, you know, factor the abnormal growth in twenty and twenty twenty one, it's really, you know, it's still the compound adjusted growth rate of the industry is still going up. I just think that uh, you, know, you get too much money going into too many places where it should, and now it's going to be tight. And, and you know, I think you know the money doesn't grow on trees unless you're the U.S. government, and then they just seem to print it and just jack up inflation. But you know, somewhere down the line, you pay for it, right? Like. I don't know about you, but if I take I spend too much money this month, I'm not going to be able to go out as much next month. And I think that's also what's happened.